Well, it is a story that we have been following for a few years. It's been decades in the making, and today yet another milestone is happening for NASA's Artemis 1 mission. After a 1.3 million mile deep space journey, the Orion spacecraft returns to Earth today, splashing down off the coast of California about 1240 this afternoon. Lena Lai brings us an inside look at the team that will bring in Orion and all that valuable science that engineers, even at Cleveland's NASA's Glenn Center are hoping to learn. It's not often you get to do something uh, with such high visibility and such historical impact. Off the coast of California, <laughs> hundreds of Navy divers and NASA specialists have been training with a mock capsule of the Artemis 1 Orion spacecraft, getting ready for Sunday's splashdown. Super excited. It's an experience that you can't really say or explain to most people because nobody can really say they've done it before. The history making NASA Navy recovery team on board the amphibious ship the USS Portland will launch a six boat team to retrieve the unmanned Orion capsule after 25 days in orbit and they have to move fast before vital equipment sinks. But there are divers that do all of the hands on work with the capsule and then the helicopter squadron we use takes all of the reentry data um, which is important because if we don't get that data we can't fly crew on Artemis 2. When the Artemis 1 rocket launched November 16th, pride soared at NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, with Northeast Ohio playing a significant role in the mission to the moon. And within that capsule, we worked with international partners and to develop uh, basically the power and propulsion capability of the spacecraft. After Sunday's retrieval of the capsule, Orion will eventually return to his testing site in Sandusky to prepare for Artemis II, bringing humans around the moon for the first time since 1972. Boosters and ignition. And lift off of Artemis Well, the splashdown is set for 1240. That's 1240 this afternoon, just off the coast of Baja, California, near Guadalupe Island. This is wow. going to be so fascinating to watch it. There's a, a whole series of events that's mm -hmm. obviously been taking place over the last 25 days. Right. And now the next, you know, what, six and a half hours are just a huge ordeal because the number one thing they wanted to test in this entire mission is that heat shield. Right. This uh, capsule's coming in at 25,000 miles an hour. Ooh. The bottom of that heat shield's gonna be up to 5,000 degrees. Wow. It's a membrane that's only 1.6 inches thick. And Artemis II would have human beings just on the other side of that membrane. And the whole thing's Jeez, eroding please. as it's coming through. So we'll see what 14 parachutes could do to slow that baby down by the time it splashes yeah. down. It's supposed to be about 20 miles per hour as it hits the, the Pacific Ocean. So uh, NASA's live coverage of uh, Artemis's splashdown will be starting today at 11 a.m. So you can find that on YouTube and then also the NASA channel. So just, it, you know where I'll be. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. All right, lots of clouds.